Okay, so this is day one of my um, photo a day challenge where I'm going to do a different hairstyle for every um, day of August. And I actually had a request for a, um, like how to blow dry your hair with a round brush, which I hardly ever do. Um, but if you have long hair and you don't have a ton of it, it's actually um, easier. If not, you're on your own because it's really hard to round brush your hair all by yourself. But I'll do this one and it might give you an idea and might inspire you to kind of, um, try and go out and do it on your own. So as you can see, I um, I just blew dry my bangs. I actually gave myself a little bang trim too. Just a little something different. Um, and my hair has been air drying, um, which is fine. You actually don't want to take a brush to your hair until it's at least 75% dry. And when you're round brushing it, I think it's easier um, when it's almost like all like all dry and then just go in each section and um, use the round brush because otherwise you're going to get exhausted if you keep doing the motion trying to get the hair dry and curled at the same time um, so first things first I'm going to put in some volumizing um, mousse like a root booster this is the Kevin Murphy um, body booster I still have this at um, my spot but I actually like a different one better. It's called Aquage Root Boosting or Uplift or something. Anyways, I like it. I like the volume I get with it better than this. So I'm putting this in the crown because that's where I want the majority of the body to be. And then I'll put a little bit in my hands, like, I don't know, what is that, the size of a golf ball? And just kind of put that all throughout the rest of it so when I'm round brushing it it has a little bit of stickiness to it and it'll um, help hold the curl a little bit better um, okay so the next tool you will need is a round brush I have this one um, I'm using this one well for one because my other ones are at work and I'm at home right now and because I like the um, the width of this I'd say this is probably oh gosh two inches no inch and a half I don't know it just depends on if you just want the body and it to be smooth or if you actually want there to be some curl some wave some movement um, I want there to be a little bit of curl with my where my layers are and then I want the body up top um, so speaking of the body up top I'm actually going to use these secret weapons they are velcro rollers oh you don't mind all my gross hair in it um, I actually would prefer a bigger size than this. Um, I don't have any, so this is just the size we're going to go with. You can get them at Ulta. I'm pretty sure you can probably even get them at the grocery store. Um, I would check the grocery store, and then I would check Sally's, because they're probably a little bit cheaper at Sally's than they would be at Ulta. Um, so I'll show you what you do with these. So in the meantime, I'm just going to start blow drying my hair, and I'm going to blow dry it um, upside down so that I can get as much volume as possible and I'm going to dry it until it's completely dry. Okay, so there it is. It's um, pretty much completely, completely dry. Um, so what I want you to start off with is um, your sectioning. I'm going to do my crown, the mohawk section first, because after I'm done doing those, I'm going to roll them in the um, Velcro rollers and leave them there while I round brush the rest of it. So this is the, vel the, um, the Velcro, this is the top section, the mohawk um, area. And so I'm going to start in the back. And you might want to, while you're starting out, just um, pin that away until you get the hang of it. And it's easier if it's smooth, because you won't be fighting it the whole time. Okay, turn on your blow dryer. I'll show you. I'll put it on low, so maybe you can still hear me. So you take the round brush and wrap the hair around. And you just move up the hair. Just like that. This is going to take some practice, some getting used to. And then once you think it's pretty smooth, you go up to almost the very end and you wrap. Just like that. And you put 
put the heat on it. Front and back. And then you do a cool shot, that button that's supposed to be the cooling button on your blow dryer. That's what you use this for, to cool off the curl a little bit. Okay, and then everybody should have a nozzle like this on their blow dryer, everyone. If your blow dryer didn't come with one, then go get a cheapy blow dryer that does have one of this, because it'll like make your life a million times better. Okay, so now you just want to un wrap the brush from your hair and you can see oh look at how lovely that is so now i'm going to use my velcro roller and roll it up now it should stay pretty good without having to use a clip or anything where's my hairspray My hairspray disappeared. Okay, so anyways, you leave it at this point. And you know what? For right now, I'm going to just clip this in place. Okay? And then I would take hairspray and... Um, oh, here it is. Okay. Now spray it. Okay? And then you just do that whole um, sequence all the way to the front. Um, always going backwards like that. Um, and then... I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then when I'm done, I'll show you how to do the rest of the section. Okay. Okay, so I've done my top sections, just two of them, and I've sprayed it pretty good. Um, so now what I want you to do is you're going to start from the bottom. And you can do from above the ear, back. like that, and section that out of the way, or clip it out of the way, and split it in half, and simply do this. that same thing all the way up. Um, I'll take this down and show you the next section can be um, like the temple area, like right about here. Are you done? And then I'll um, clip the remainder of that hair up. Let go of the door. I love my children. I love my children. I love my children. <sighs> okay. So... 
flipping that out of the way. And I'm sure you can see that my sections are not <laughs> perfect by any means. It's just a general guide, it's just to make it easier for you to keep all that hair out of the way. Okay, so now we go on to the second part. <laughs> 